Contrary to popular belief, there is a reason I am showing you the password screen. As you can see, you have all the letters A through Z in caps, and then you have A, B, D, E, G, H in lower case. What I think they did was they took out C and F so you wouldn't get confused with uh, the uppercase letters or any letters that otherwise look the same. And when you do enter passwords, it does take you to the individual stage you left off at. It doesn't just start you at the beginning of the land. Alright, now moving on to this stage. This is another one of those that looks way more complicated than it actually is. You're basically just clearing a path and finding a way to get these ice blocks into the gaps. So sometimes you will have to kick it off the springs, but you'll only have to do that about half of the time. Like for this one right here. And that went fairly quickly. Let's hope all of them go that way. Oh yeah, obviously your score uh, and your lives will reset if you use a password, because the only way you can get the password is by dying. Now this one. Simple idea, but takes a little practice to get used to. You need to freeze these guys in these positions, and then kick them across so that they don't get hit by the spiked balls. Because if they do get hit by the spike balls, the ice block will be destroyed and you'll have to do it over again. Alright, and now that that bridge is formed, we can move ahead to the right. After that one last block. But first we're gonna wait for this thing to go by. And now we can just make a mad dash for the dream bags. Ooh, donuts. Now, I like to call this next stage the ludicrous stage. And I only say that because the very first thing you should do when you take control in this level is move, bitch, get out the way, get out the way, bitch, get out the way. Because these guys will move in toward you. And their shields are capable of deflecting your ice blast back at you. That will freeze you, they'll move in, touch you, and kill you. But another thing, these guys will come after your ass. So you gotta be ready to take them down in case they do something like that. Now obviously here you just wait for one of these to move in, kick it across to, to fill in the gap, and grab the dream bag. Now for these next couple of levels, the theme is going to be simple idea that takes a little extra work to be able to pull off. For this level in particular, you need to be able to move to the right to get two of the dream bags, but you have to fill in those gaps. So, what we have to do is freeze one of these noggles here, kill this guy so he doesn't bother us, and you have to be able to move it down. Actually, I screwed that one up. You have to wait for it to be uh, anywhere but on that far right section. Preferably get it down here first, and then kick it over to the side. Take it down, to the side, up, to the side, and then either uh, up or down in order to fill in the gap. I go up because otherwise you're going to need two blocks for the bottom section. Now here you freeze it and kick it into the turret, and you can easily grab the dream bag. Now that was kind of a light version of this one. Although this one does change things up by involving a bunch of springs. Now the first thing you should look at is that gap toward the bottom. Because it's not possible with those few amount of squares in front of the spring to be able to get a block down to the spring and up to uh, fill in the gap to the dream bags. What you have to do is fill in this gap. And then, wait for one of these noggles to get into position, put an ice cylinder here. What you're gonna do is get one to the top, freeze it, and then kick it over into your ice cylinder, walk across the gap, knock out the cylinder, and kick it into the spring. Now for this one up, the thing to remember about these spike balls is, if they're attached to something, like this is attached to the one up, it'll move to the nearest wall after you take it, like that. So just make sure it's on the opposite side and you should be able to grab the one up, no problem. Now in stark contrast to this stage, the stage after this is purely to introduce a new enemy and some uh, light combat ideas. After this 
incredibly anime peppermint tells you about how uh, the palace is trapped in a crystal ball. Now, these enemies are... Well, let's just call them what they are. They're turtles. And when they fight... Uh, when they line up with you, they're going to spin into a ball and roll toward you, and they can knock each other out. Which made this level a whole lot easier. Now, we're going to see more of the turtles later, but for this next stage, we're going to be going back to uh, more block puzzles and one of those knights that can deflect ice blasts. Now, they make it incredibly obvious what to do first, but it's not so obvious what you do uh, next. And this is something I should have mentioned before. If you ever get stuck in this game, your best friend is the pause button. Because even though this was an arcade game, when it's released on consoles, you're able to pause it, time will stop, and you'll have plenty of time to be able to think out your next move. This is basically what you do. Kick it into the spring, move out of the way so that you can kick it toward the next spring in the sequence. Kill the knights, grab the dream bags, and we're done. This next level is one of those things where you will know what to do, but being able to pull it off isn't going to be easy. This is a massive block movement puzzle involving the hammer. And with this turtle bastard is going to be an incredible pain because he can destroy your ice blocks. You reposition the hammer so that it will knock down like this. And then you're basically going to just kick it into the next blocks in the sequence. And when you can't move it into another block, that's a sign that you need to move the hammer so that you can kick the block into that. So we're going to reposition the hammer like this. And don't forget to keep refreezing the block, otherwise it'll melt and you'll have to do all of this over again. And if possible, uh, freeze the turtle that's on your side too, so that it doesn't annoy you nearly as much. Alright, we're almost done. Move the hammer to the side, and there's our bridge. And kill the turtle, grab the green bags, we're out of here. Ugh, now I want ice cream. But I just ate. Alright. This stage. See those arrow looking things? If you knock the blocks into those, they will be destroyed instantly. So don't bother thinking you can kick them into that. The only thing that you can kick an ice block into for this section is either those spawn points uh, where the noggles are coming out, or that one block at the top center of the map. This is the key to being able to get through this puzzle. So, what you'll need to do is get one of these noggles frozen so that it is lined up with the center block and not kick it into the spawn point like I just did. God, that was stupid. Alright, get one of these noggles lined up right here. Move down and kick it into the center block and then into the springs. Now you want to move into one of these gaps, so you can kick it down and form a bridge across both of these gaps. And you want to be really careful that that spike thing does not come back and kill you on its uh, second way around. But for now, I'm going to get both of these things loose. And that's another thing too, if the spikes go over each other, one of them can end up in free space and it'll just keep going in a straight line until it hits a wall. What the hell are those waffles? Cakes? I can't really tell. Whatever. <laughs> 